Brooke and Summer here of the Girls of Glasses show. And today we would love to wish you all a, a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. That's right, Christmas is here. Are you ready for Christmas? We're gonna show you how to decorate your home in a classic Christmas way. That's right, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, we already love classic red and the natural colors that Evergreen already brings to the table. Yeah, Christmas on its own is just a real natural beauty. It is. You don't have to do that much. But we always have to throw a little glittery gold yes, in the mix too. Yes, a little bit of glitter goes a long way. way. It does. Yeah. And, and we're the girls with glasses, so. We have to. If you love these gold glitter wreaths, you can check out our DIY video and learn how to do them yourself. Yeah, do it. Until but then, come, come inside. Along with us. Come inside. Come, in. come on. Take come a look at our off. Christmas house. Don't be shy. No. Come on. You don't want to just decorate your living room. No, because let's be honest, during the holiday season, where are you hanging out the most? I'll tell you where I'm hanging out the most. The kitchen. The kitchen. Where yeah. the food is, I'm right? I'm eating, I'm baking. That's right, you're cooking food, you're, you're drinking hot chocolate, yeah. you're squirting the, the mm. whipped cream in your mouth. It's, you know, Even it's, this is what you do at Christmas time. It's on a the good kitchen time. table, people are doing homework. Oh, and yes, it's just or just family dinners or gatherings the yes. of the holiday season. It is the nucleus of the holiday season, and that's why we're going to show you that's great right. ways to decorate your kitchen that's in right. this classic way. Yeah, you can even bring a you can even bring a tree into your kitchen. We're going to tell okay. you to bring a tree in your kitchen. <laughs> all right, join us. Join us in our Christmas kitchen. All right, let's get real, everybody. It's Christmas time. And I know the convenient thing is to get some fake trees and get them out of the box, set them up, Christmas is over, put it back in the box, no pine needles. Well, in the kitchen, you can do it in a less overwhelming way, a less messy way, and still get that rich goodness of the, the smell. It's so good, you gotta have that in your kitchen, okay? So I went down to the, the local hardware store and I just got a variety of sizes put them in a lot of different types of containers. We've got more of a ceramic option here, an aluminum base here, a little tall goldy right here. And then we've got the trees, so we're gonna need some uh, some deers to come prancing through this little forest. Little deers prancing through the trees. Boop. Little red one, it's perfect, little pop of color. You feeling it, you feeling it? Although the, the reindeer are here, which, which can only mean one thing. Santa's coming to town. Okay. Which means we're gonna need some milk and cookies. Do you think I'll be on the naughty list if I eat one? Sorry, Santa. Yeah, that's worth it. It's worth being on the naughty list. Okay, bye. All right. I'm gonna show you how to put these wreaths on your cabinets. It's a very simple thing to do, but it's got that wow factor. You walk into your kitchen and you're like, whoa, you love Christmas. And it shows and it's awesome. All you have to do is get a cute little wreath. You can make one or you can purchase one and get some ribbon. You string it through. You wanna measure it so you know where already on your cabinet you want it to hang. Flip it around, right about there, and then you take a nice piece of tape and you tape the back. That way after Christmas you can just rip them off, It's you haven't nailed anything, it's very easy and easy to change out. Just close that. Actually, I think it needs to go up a tiny bit. All right, Brooke, how does that look? That looks so cute. It's perfect. Okay. Again, you can change the ribbon or the color wreath to go with whatever decor you've chosen. Because we're keeping it classic, we chose the red and the green. I mean, you cannot go wrong with it. It looks elegant. Um, there's not tons of bows everywhere. It's just simple, beautiful, and just makes you happy. Christmas magic happening over here. Do you want a really, really easy way to hang your cards? Yes, I do. And <laughs> so do the people at home watching this. 
All you need is a ribbon and the little clothing. The little clothespins, like yeah. little tiny, like imagine clothespins for like doll clothes. Like your Barbie clothes. For elves. Little for elves. elves. For little elves. elves. What, perfect. Yeah, what they use to dry their clothes on the clothes yes. line. Speaking of elves, one of the things you can do is in addition to putting up your Christmas cards, you can put up cute prints and quotes. Yeah. Like this one over here. Whoa, right here. This says, you don't smell like Santa, you smell like mac and cheese. That's a great <laughs> quote for Christmas. That is a great quote. So yeah, mix your prints with your Christmas card. Just run the ribbon or what's this ribbon called? Uh, this is just um, a pom pom. It's a pom pom um, ribbon. Pom 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 yarn. Strand of oh yarn. Yeah, pom pom yarn. Get some uh, pom -pom it's yarn. officially called a pom pom yarn. <laughs> or it is. This now. is what I love to use every year, and it comes in a variety of colors. Sometimes you can mix them up, like do a red and a white one. And as you get more and more Christmas cards, they start to just fill up and kind of string across the board, and it looks super fun. And it's. It's a lot of fun to be able to see how many people have sent you cards, and it reminds you too. Did you get your cards out yet? Get out your cards. They're coming. I know. You gotta get them out. Feel with those yeah. cards. Like the first card comes in, like, oh, I haven't done my cards. <laughs> shall we talk about designing a cabinet or a shelf? We shall. And let me tell you, I really like to showcase ornaments, and sometimes I feel like they get hidden away in trees, and you don't really get to see them. Yeah, and sometimes, let me be honest, I'm kind of in a phase where I like a very minimalist tree. I don't, I don't want to chalk it full of ornaments, but I still want to be in on the ornament game. Yeah. So this is a great way to do it in a very creative, different way. Yeah. Right. What we did is we just put ornaments along um, the shelf of the cabinet. Which you could do if you just have shelves. You could do it along the whole shelf. Yeah, if you have like a long one, like our bookshelf. Along yeah, the whole bookshelf. It doesn't have to be cabinet style, but it, it could be. Yeah, just make it work, whatever you got. And then another thing that we really like is because this is really bold red statement. Yeah, we mixed it with these very natural wood grain yes. ornaments. So they really pop off that color. Yes. And they're not competing with it. Yeah, and we use the uh, white wear throughout. So it just is very like consistent and doesn't look too busy. You have to kind of balance, you know, everything out. It's true. It's kind of an experiment. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Merry Christmas from the girls with glasses. That's right. <laughs>